Hello and good evening. Welcome to the Smart Investing Show with your host, yours truly, Alton Brooks. This evening we've got a power-packed show. Before we start our interaction with our guest this evening, I'd just like to um, take a little time to just say thank you to those who have um, been sending in a lot of um, notes to our show and to myself that they are in fact um, finding it very valuable, the information that we provide, the guests that we bring on, the information is helping them uh, and it's also inspiring them. So for those of you who are feeling empowered by watching the show, you know, just continue to do that. And for those of you who are just new this evening for the first time, welcome. And we hope that uh, after watching our episode that you will feel that um, you will have some more moxie to go out there and possibly do what you think you can do on your own to start a business of some kind. So this evening we have with us the vice president of a brand new association, which is the Afro-Canadian Contractors Association. They have formed this organi organization Canada-wide to bring in all the contractors and trades of the uh, black variety so that they can build strength in numbers. So without further ado, let me introduce to you this evening, Mr. Sefton Spence. He is a CEO of Cubby Construction. He is also a part of the Freeman Construction ownership. He is a developer and again, the vice president of the Afro-Canadian Contractors Association. Mr. Spence, good evening. Good evening, sir. It's a pleasure having you on this evening. You know, normally I'm a little bit excited, so I'm actually even more excited this evening. So if you see me jumping out of my chair, just forgive me for a little bit for that, because I'm quite excited about this new association that I've heard about. And I've brought you on this evening to discuss that because I find it's very interesting, it's very timely, and I think everyone should be jumping on board. So my first question to you is, uh, would you like to tell us any, a little bit more about yourself before we continue? Well, about myself. Um, the, 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 that, that did justice for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. So we have a pandemic hitting us hard in 2020. But... In that period, you and a few associates are meeting and deciding that this is something that you want to do right in and during a pandemic, bringing a new organization Canada-wide. So tell us about that initial conversation that you had with your peers and how that went. Well, it started a little back before the pandemic before um, George Floyd and the Black Lives Matter situation. Okay. Happened. So what happened was um, over a year and a bit ago, black contractors got together and they wanted to have a voice. Mm -hmm. They wanted opportunities that's been, they've been missing. Okay. So they had this meeting and at this meeting, there was, there was over 200 black contractors 200 that's a lot of people yes it was it was a large it was a large meeting and they wanted to hear more about what was there there was a first there was a lot of people that were invited mm -hmm. and then it just extended it just kept growing and growing and growing so by the end of the night after everybody talking the presentations were made they're saying this is you know there's opportunities that's there somebody stood up in the audience and say well why don't we have an association just mm. like that? So mm -hmm. they said, well, come on, who's going to lead it? Let's go. Right. Why don't we? Well, you know, um, Rosemary over there at TVCN, that was just the perfect words for her to hear because okay. he has been behind the driving force of different procurements and different things with the Toronto, Toronto uh, City Hall. Mm -hmm. allowing that because they also say there's no black contractors in Canada. Ah, 
For years, that's been said. Mm -hmm. So what was happening was that funding was going out to the black community, the flying black contractors to do certain work. Right. But if you don't know where to find the information mm -hmm. and the information is not given to you, it's after a certain tough. time, the other parties have swallowed it up. Wow. So this is what happened, and it kept happening. So now, I guess somebody found out, word got out, and it was about time that, you know, everybody decided that now it's time to step up. After two or three meetings mm -hmm. that the, you know, a president had, then I was called in, right. and we all sat at the table, and we decided how we're going to form this. Now, a and lot of times when people meet initially, there's just a lot of conversation. There's a lot of talking. And sometimes that stretches out into yeah. months and maybe even years. But you were able, with your team, to just hit the ground running. Hit what ground was running. that switch that just said, you know what, it's go time. We've met long enough, and we just got to get it done. Now, we were meeting once a week mm -hmm. online. We were then meeting every other week. Nice. Online. We, those that were a part of the directors that weren't involved in certain areas, mm -hmm. the others were meeting. So there was conversation going on back and forth, ideas, how to set it up, how the funding, this, that, the other. It was just, it was just crazy. So it so sounds we, like there's a lot of energy, pent up energy, uh, that folks are just looking to have this for a while. It's been looking for a while, but you know what? When to launch, how to launch was was the key the key thing. Mm -hmm. So this is when you have the right people in the right places. FKB Media, Fenella Bruce, mm -hmm. absolutely fabulous, um, knowledgeable, experienced person that can help you launch anything in which I, you know that you're trying to do. Nice. So I've known her for a while. She's involved in Freeman Estate too. And so what happened was that we were ready to launch. We thought, okay, maybe we'll launch it before December. So I called Fenella and Fenella goes, nah, February 1st. Right. Boom. That was it. You know, we, we weren't even looking at that launch date because we were, we were ready and we've right. been sitting ready for a little while and we were ready to go. The pandemic was hard. It was, it was hitting mm -hmm. everybody everywhere. And we thought, okay, fine. This is nationwide. How are we going to do this? Well, now, was there any significance to launching during the traditional Black History Month or did that just happen to be the, the, the case? Absolutely. You know, what more that can represent us, what more we could get out in the public mm -hmm. to be noticed, to see, to show them what we have to provide for them, all the contractors in, in such a way. Also, you know, February is also a slow month for a lot of contractors. Right. It's it's in the heart of winter. Mm. A lot of things have slowed down at that point. People are just getting over the, the Christmas spending. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. January is a tough month. February contract, a lot of contractors, um, they look, you know, are just holding on till right. March. When things begin to bloom, the right. buds begin to come out. Mm -hmm. that's, mm -hmm. that's the sign that, you know, they've been going because the pandemic had a big boom. Home Depot was over 26 every single quarter right because those that are at home had to keep the home going they started doing things at home they were right. just out there buying all the so home projects started coming up all <laughs> projects were picking up like crazy but then after every time after christmas that spending kind of slows down for mm -hmm, a month or two mm -hmm. and then picks back up in late late march now so, you know when you set up a business you have the option of uh doing it just within an Ontario corporation sort of entity, or you can go Canada-wide. I noticed that you did go Canada-wide. What is the challenge of, or what is your biggest challenge of making it a Canada-wide organization versus just an Ontario-based organization? Well, Ontario organization means that if we're here, we're now, I don't know if your broadcast is Canada-wide, Oh, well, actually, we broadcast worldwide. Oh, even better. So now this is what happens. All the newscasts and everything that happens mm -hmm. happens in Ontario. 
right? So here, all the newscast was going in. Mm -hmm. But Canelo, we stretched it all the way because why should we allow our brothers and our sisters that are in every other province to be left mm -hmm. out? Right. No, no, no. We don't leave nobody behind, right? We include every single one. So think about it. We've got friends in Newfoundland that's already got jobs. Okay. We've got friends in Vancouver, in BC, that already have had jobs through ACA. So, so what is your marketing plan then to reach all 10 provinces, territories, etc.? It is a, a gigantic job to find out about all the different trades within all these different provinces. What is sort of your, your, your marketing plan to do so? Well, our marketing plan, we're still busy putting that together. We will be doing some traveling mm -hmm. in, the, in the spring, and we are allowing uh, Fenella to come up with a, a crazy plan for us to be more. So we're in magazines. We're in on okay. TV. Mm -hmm. We're on podcasts. We're on so many different levels that we have to continue to stay visible, not only here, but we're out there. So... We have different shows, we have different segments, we have different articles, we have different magazines that we are in, mm -hmm. in every single province. So and they are aware of what's happening. Not only that, they're allowed to log in, loop into everything that is happening here in Ontario. So tell us about current, the current situation, the current marketplace. How can more people get more of the pie for what they're doing right now? more of the pie could you could you elaborate a little bit more about the pie like for instance you've got a ton of construction projects across canada you've got individual companies within each province right what are some things they can do to try to get more of what's available um, as an opportunity for them to get more business okay, so with with aca now and you are if you become a member of aca mm -hmm. what happens is now you will be privileged to every single job that comes on through the tenders mm. from the government, from the government all okay. the way down to universities, to schools, wow, all the way through. We have it. Now, in other words, we're sitting at the table with everybody else now. Right. All the big, all the big cheeses, everybody that has from the PLs to the, to the, to the Daniels, we're sitting at the same table. And that's, the, that's a difference before we everybody wasn't privileged to see what they see. Mm -hmm. They they didn't have the access to 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 go on and get. And if they did, it was only just a few that right. was, was was able to do that. Now we have all our members. Right. All our members are able to do that. Right. So that's the beautiful that's the beautiful thing. Now we could be at the same table with them. So with that, and then we teach each level. If you're a gold member or you're just a contractor coming in, mm -hmm. we allow you to see. And if you fall short where you need to develop a business, we help you develop a business. Wow. If, if you need to understand how to incorporate, now there's about five or six different levels of incorporation. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people don't know that. They just think they incorporate and that's it. Right. There's so many different levels. Also the sole proprietorship. There's also so many different levels of mm -hmm. that also. Mm -hmm which is very important, especially for those that are coming into the field that develop in their companies, but even those that have had their companies for a while. Let me give you a brief example. Okay. You have um, an incorporation and in the incorporation, you have a, say, a set description of what you do. Right. Anyhow, you go outside that description and something happens to you. Mm -hmm. Or something happens on the job and you could you could get sued because you're outside the, the parameters right so you have to continue to update because a lot of contractors a lot of people that are, oh i've started their businesses they said oh well we're just starting off we're just going to be a plumber right but now you're installing drywall now you're framing now you're doing this you're going outside you your scope to, you've gone you've gone outside your scope you've mm -hmm. got to update your scope that way you can be insured underneath the scope in which you're now doing. And there's a lot of, a lot of contractors that don't know that. So there's a lot of teachings that we're going on. We have government people that is come on, teaches lessons. We have lawyers that are coming on. We have um, different people that now 
we have ins now insurances, mm -hmm. the different levels of insurance, the different types of insurances. Come so right it sounds like a partnership angle is growing, which, you, which is what you definitely need. Right. And truth be told, I, I have promised to offer some of my uh, expertise as well to your organization. Absolutely. So I'm, I'm definitely on board to helping you out. So, so tell us about the upcoming summer season. Things are going to get busy. It's your busy time. Plus, you got this new organization to run. How is that going to bode for you know people, the mental health? Uh, they're going to be overstressed. You got to run this ship. Plus, do all the jobs you promised to get done. What's the plan there for all the board members who are part of also actively running this new organization? And it takes, as you know, a lot of strength to get this going initially. Well, you know that already um, is 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 been a a blessing now because we are busy bringing in executives to take care of a lot of areas now. That way we don't have to out of our daily jobs, right? I wear a few hats, mm -hmm. you know, this is not mm -hmm. just the only company that I'm with. So what it does is that we're having, we're on in the process right now of hiring different ones to come in to handle different areas so that we don't have to keep taping time of our day and our nights are very late. Right. And I actually just before your call, I was on, I was on, I was in a board meeting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So with ACA, so, so we, you got to make sure your schedule is tight. <laughs> schedule is tight, but it was a, it was a good call. Yeah. We had a, we've, we've had a, somebody, a, somebody sponsor that sponsor and donated some money. So mm -hmm. that is, that's a wonderful well, thing. Yeah, you definitely have to take those calls. Oh, absolutely. So tell us about how big is the construction opportunity like yearly? Like give us a number. How much is it worth? How much are we looking at? I just approximately 453 billion dollars in Canada. How many billions? <laughs> 453 billion. 400 billions. on you know, I can't even count that high. Wow. Yes. That is incredible. Well, you know yeah. what? We've got you on the show tonight. We're going to be talking to all the tradespeople who are watching and everybody else. We're going to come right back in a few moments with Mr. Spence, but thank you for tuning in this evening to the Smart Investing Show with Alton Brooks. We're talking the new construction association for folks just like yourself. It's about encouraging you to start your business. It's about getting diversity and inclusion into more projects that's happening all around, and it's about getting a bigger piece of that pie. So we'll be right back as we continue our discussion. You can officially download our free GBKM app from the App Store and the Google Play Store, okay? Now, what is the best thing about this app? Well, it is that you have all of the features from the website that is portable in your hand, ready to use and ready to go. Now, I'm just gonna guide you through what we have available on our app right now. So here, this is the page where you can watch our live TV, our GBKM TV. You can watch live, enjoy the shows live. Now, if you go to our tabs, you can check out any shows you missed in the past shows tab, and that takes you to the past shows that have happened in the last week. And if you just scroll down, you can see those past shows in order, chronological order with their dates next to them as well. So if you've missed a show, no worries, just go to the past show tab and you can catch up on your favorite GBKM entertainment. Going back to our menus tab again, you can check out our upcoming shows so you do not miss any past shows. Um, you can check out our breaking news section, which is our newest section as well to learn of any breaking news within the diaspora, or across the globe, all of that good stuff so you can stay engaged and up to date on what's going on um, with our breaking news tab on the GBKM app and also available on the website. And as you can see, there are other tabs there. You can listen to our live radio, our live TV. You can learn more about our on-air personalities by going to our OAP tab, all of that good stuff. You can officially download our- Welcome back to the Smart Investing Show with Alton Brooks, your host on the GBKM Network. You can find us at www.gbkm.tv. Or if you're driving in your car, just a dot .fm will get you on a radio station. You can also download our GBKM app on iOS or Android. So please be sure to do that. We've got a ton of programming to keep you interested throughout the week, many live programs as well. So please check us out 
and make sure you support any programs of interest to you. This evening, we are talking to the Vice President of the Afro-Canadian Contractors Association, Mr. Spence, Sefton Spence, who is giving us some insights into the starting of their organization. And if you are watching across Canada, across the US, UK, Africa, South America, wherever you're at, and you've got a trade that you want to take advantage of, you're getting some information this evening. And if you're in Canada specifically, make sure that you sign up for this organization. And you can find them at www.accan.com or .ca. Take your pick. They are ready to do business. And welcome back, Mr. Spence, to the program. Now, tell us about diversity, inclusion. It seems to be a buzzword these days. Everybody's using it. And I understand that procurement departments across Canada are also using it because they want to see some diversity in who they give out contracts to. So you touched on it a little bit early, but tell us a little bit more about how you plan to either teach or show or align with some of these trades and constructors and uh, construction um, companies to get more of those opportunities, because currently we're not in those books. No, we, we're, we're getting to come in those books. Mm -hmm. Right now, ACA, when you stop and you look at the numbers across the country, the percentages of women, just say, let's take women first. Right. Instruction, unit wise, maybe 2%. Mm. Right? And you take off black contractors in the industry, maybe 6 7%. Right. Mm. And so the thing is, though, but there's a lot of people that's on the, on the underground, right, at, at this present time. So we are pushing forward now diversity and compliance. It's, it has become a huge thing now mm -hmm. because um, there's a big push for those that have been missing the mark for, for what has happened um, in the past. So now that the word is out, all the industry from the carpet, the unions, the, the big, the big boys, um, the PLs, the ACONs, they have to have certain form of diversity on their team. They have to have a, a level of diversity. Mm -hmm. And with that now, they, they are now reaching out, especially when they, um, mentioned or they were they were part of the groups them that used to swallow up the big the big the different the different things that were out there for black sponsors or sp right. black organizations that were given out given funding throughout now i'm touching a toughy toughy subject right mm -hmm. so what happened was that now they have to have the, the mandate they have a mandate that they have to meet they have to come come across so with so here we are aka is here we have a, a large number of construction company owners mm -hmm. that's in our file that's in our rolodex right now we have numbers that are joining daily every week the numbers just keep growing right so they are in need if the unions are in need, um, the different groups are in need, um, the different companies are in need, they've been reaching out. We've heard from, I think, every single one of them so far. Yeah, and so far, the unions have been on board. They're a friend. Oh, I think I think the unions are, are always a friend. Mm, nice. Always a friend. Um, because you know what? I, I think we have the have the premise or we might have the thing that we're we're not but some of the some of the the big companies they have a union um sector and they have a non-union sector too okay so we have to be aware that you know there's many different companies now even with unions that are working with unions and non-union mm -hmm. team, team together to do certain proposals certain jobs right so it's becoming a lot more meshed Right in in that in that area. Right. So, with this, we've we've put ourselves in a good position, and with all the different members that are coming out and joining and under and seeing what's available to them, 
it makes our our it makes it stronger for us at the position in which we're in. Mm -hmm. The now, only thing I'm thinking right now is I just wish you guys would have had that meeting sooner than <laughs> when you did, because everyone is just ready to go, and I'm just so impressed with that. Now, just for the benefit of our viewers and maybe those who are not in the know on how construction really works, suppose we have this huge project that gets greenlighted. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the social impact of that. How does it trickle down? How does it affect people and how does it affect tradespeople? Okay, so what happens if suppose we have it in, we choose a neighborhood. Depends mm -hmm. on the neighborhood and what it's, what it's in. With the social procurement and different things and that happens within it, there's an outline boundary mm -hmm. of what takes place within that. So if I bid on a tender mm -hmm. and you bid on tender, there are guidelines in that tender. Right. Then there's probably also about five over 500 and something pages for you to go through too, right? So that's, that's, a, lot of, that's a lot of reading. Mm -hmm. So what happens then, it tells you what they're looking for. It will tell you what your boundaries are. It will tell you what stores and what suppliers they're looking for. Okay. Right? So what they do by doing that, they allow um, communities um, with whether black store owners, mm -hmm. um, suppliers, ingenuous um, suppliers, different people from different nations su that supplies construction materials and right. stuff like that. You have to shop within there first. Okay. If you do not shop with, if you don't shop within there, right, you got to put down the list of where you get your materials from. Mm. There, there are points that you get, right, as you fill it out and you fall within the category, and then you say, well, we have a group that we are hiring from ACA. Mm -hmm. Now you also now get extra points I for see. that because now you're involving the black community, right. Black trade workers, the black workers on a whole. So that's how that works. So it's 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 labeled out for you. It's set out for you directly in the mandate that is that is there that when the tender goes out, right, on on what needs to be what, what so, they so need. So basically to get your fair share, you just have to just dot your I's, cross your T's, and get in the game basically. Well, with the knowledge of what you're doing. For sure. And speaking of knowledge, you know, on this show, we talk about knowledge a lot. We talk about um, literacy, financial literacy. In your particular case, you know, we're talking about more than likely cost literacy and being able to cost out a job, being able to properly estimate what something's going to cost you so you can properly uh, quote it. Is that a challenge for your industry? And tell us about how you plan to take on that challenge of increasing the uh, estimating literacy of, of the tradesmen and, and tradeswomen. That is there. We have a, a partner that's part of the directors mm -hmm. at ACA. Now, he teaches a course mm -hmm. about learning how to estimate. What? You have a this, course to teach people how to estimate? How to estimate. There are many colleges that teaches courses how to estimate. Uh -huh. That is crucial. Well, the fact within, that you can do that from within your own organization to me is very impressive. Yes. So we have many courses that and and segments and instructional manuals and online online viewing that you could learn how to do almost every single thing that that is there that is needed for you to grow your business. And I'm just going to reiterate, this is something that started February 1st. February 1st. Six to eight weeks in, we have a training course on how to estimate. Yep. We have benefit packages of aligning with, with, with your organization to help you win business from top, top to bottom, basically. Helping with applications, tenders. So if you're a tradesperson or a contractor watching this show right now, you should have already gone to the website, signed up, and be ready to go tomorrow morning for them to help you out. Because we need to get more of this $500 billion opportunity that is facing us. So what do you think the, the, the chances are that you're going to get an increase in your membership tomorrow? Absolutely. 
Absolutely. I, I am. I'm positive. I'm positive. I totally agree. There will be members, members coming in by tomorrow morning. Now, while we're talking about the estimating literacy side of things, we also have to look at, you know, when you do a lot of construction jobs, as you know, you have to put up bonding and, and things of that nature. And many times that also depends on your credit rating. Mm -hmm. Is that also something that your organization will be working on, or is that a need you see, or is that something that scares people from actually applying if their business credit or personal credit is not in line to do certain things? I, I think I think I think a lot of things scares our community. Mm -hmm. to be honest with you, and the thing is that having the ability to know how to do something, mm -hmm. and having the ability to go in out to get in it, right. Two totally different things, right? So let me let me touch on now. You talked about the bonding, mm -hmm. the bonding. It does differ again according to your credit score, mm -hmm. but also depends on the bonding house in which you're working with. Right. If you do a lot of bonds throughout the year, you could have a flat rate, mm -hmm. and then if you just do here and there, then you are charged and then you're charged according to your, your score right. and the percentages, it changes. But you mm -hmm. would have to go to a bonding house to, for them to give you the accurate you know, information or the percentages at that point. It could go three, four, five, six you know, percent. Right. You know, it, it just depends on what your score would be. Well, I think the benefit of your organization bringing all that in-house is someone can just call get that information and just properly go out and represent. Their well, business. let me, let me, let me even help you with that. Mm -hmm. This coming month, breaking news, month of April, we're, we got a bond. We got two bonding sessions going on. Excellent. Excellent. Now, you know, this kind of stuff just energizes me. I don't know if I'm going to sleep tonight. <laughs> I am so excited about your organization, but uh, you know, before we finish up, you're also CEO of the, um, empower her organization. Yes, I am. Tell us about that because, you know, as you said earlier, the percentages of women in construction is very low and it's something that is always being looked to grow. Tell us about the Empower Her organization that you started. Well, the Empower organization has to do with um, the island of St. Lucia at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, we have other islands that are, want to come on board. Right. But we're starting there. That's where Freeman Estate is. For sure. And, and so what happens, Empower is, is about this. Shattering limitations by empowering women to become ambassadors of the trade through mm -hmm. the art of construction. We propel women forward with skill set education professionals. All true to the trade. Right. So they're champions. So the thing is that um, with that, it I recognize when I'm in when in the islands, when I'm in the Caribbean, which I absolutely love and I'm missing there right now and I mm -hmm. should be there. Um, but uh, we always were there. <laughs> my prime minister won't let me fly out. Uh, so what happens is that even here, I'm we have noticed that. Let me just touch a part of with ACA here. Mm -hmm. We have noticed such a huge growth from our black woman in trades here. Nice. It has been crazy. Absolutely love it. To, to, to give a person an opportunity in another area, another field, is absolutely um, mind-blowing and empowerment. And women in arts in construction within mm. the Caribbean. It's something that has been almost tabooed. Don't, right. They don't do this, they don't do that. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I'm telling you that they have as much skill set as the men do, or probably even more, right? For sure. The thing is that a lot of those, we have the older generation that learn from their parents, mm -hmm. that learn from their uh, uh, somebody that they've been the, but we're going to have women that are coming up that are taught in the new, the new way that the, the, you know, so they'll be forward thinkers. They For will sure. be able to have their own income. They'll be paying, they will be paid the same amount as what the men are paid. Mm -hmm. They're not going to be paid mm -hmm. lower. 
they're going to be paid the same amount. These are the these are the different things that you're working out with the government that for every you know ten men yeah on the construction site that belongs to the government there will be one female. But you know you don't need one female by yourself, so you're going to have two. For sure, right? for sure. So, Growing the you, numbers is definitely part of the plan. And, and as a absolutely. father of, of three girls, I always um, am thrilled when I hear of more opportunities for, for women. So yeah. my last question uh, before we go, I'm always uh, looking at the angle of, of youth when it comes to uh, opportunities. Is there um, something you'd like to say to any young person who's watching right now about possibilities of careers in their in trades or construction you know what what can you say to them and can they join your organization as well they could join the organization but i want to tell them that i want you to dream big dream big i want you to dream big mm -hmm. i want you to dream that you just not become a worker right i want you to become a, a general a general contractor mm -hmm. from the general contractor i want you to become an owner i want you to become a developer that is what my goal, that is what I, I have to offer you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Big. Don't, don't just think of the small. Think about the big picture first. Right. That way you could strive and you have a lot to strive for. But you know what the thing is that? You have the ability to do it. For sure. You have it, you have it deep within you. All you have to do is just open, open up that box and let the real you come out. And uh, for the benefit of those folks, just tell them again how they can get to your website and get more information. Well, um, we could go to akakan.com or .ca, A-C-A-C-A-N.com or .ca. Terrific. Well, Sefton Spence, we appreciate your time this evening. You certainly have provided us with a lot of pertinent information in regard to your new organization and for those out there who are looking for careers in ownership and also just more opportunities in the construction and general contractor area, becoming a boss, please contact this new association and they'll be glad to work with you. As you've heard this evening, there are seminars, training sessions on the go. You're going to have tools in your back pocket to prepare you to win that deal, to win that tender. So thank Amen. you again, Mr. Spence, for joining us. And to our viewers, thank you for watching the Smart Investing Show with Alton Brooks on the GBKM Network. We shall see you next time. Bye for now. Thank you. Free GBKM app from the App Store and the Google Play Store, okay? Now, what is the best thing about this app? Well, it is that you have all of the features from the website that is portable in your hand, ready to use and ready to go. Now I'm just gonna guide you through what we have available on our app right now. So here, this is the page where you can watch our live TV, our GBKM TV. You can watch live, enjoy the shows live. Now, if you go to our tabs, you can check out any shows you missed in the past shows tab, and that takes you to the past shows that have happened in the last week. And if you just scroll down, you can see those past shows in order, chronological order with their dates next to them as well. So if you've missed a show, no worries, just go to the past show tab and you can catch up on your favorite GBKM entertainment. Going back to our menus tab again, you can check out our upcoming shows so you do not miss any past shows. Um, you can check out our breaking news section, which is our newest section as well to learn of any breaking news within the diaspora, or across the globe, all of that good stuff so you can stay engaged and up to date on what's going on um, with our breaking news tab on the GBKM app and also available on the website. And as you can see, there are other tabs there. You can listen to our live radio, our live TV. You can learn more about our on-air personalities by going to our OAP tab. All of that good stuff. Yo, you say waiting. Right now, you're watching GBKM.TV.